Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the long-awaited apartment tour. So I actually filmed this apartment tour really quickly when I had first moved in. So you guys know that I've been, you know, little by little furnishing the apartment, but I wanted to get a video out just with the empty apartment tour, just so you guys can see the space that I'm working with and to show you that you can make the space work for you. So if you guys didn't know, I moved back to New York. I can do a Q&A so that I can discuss more as to why I moved back. So if you're new to my channel, I used to live in New York, Queens to be exact. And then last August, I moved to Florida, Boca Raton, Florida. And I officially moved back July 1st, but I've been staying in New York since probably I would say like February. So I've been staying for work and then I officially, officially moved in July 1st. I feel very blessed. I feel happy. I'm feeling very positive in my space. I get so emotional when I talk about things like this. I don't know if it's a Scorpio in me, but... This is just a huge moment for me. Even though I moved July 1st and we're about to be in September, like this still feels very new. It still feels very fresh. Like it's starting to feel like home. When I first moved in, it felt really weird. I felt like awkward in the space. I didn't even feel like I was going home when I was coming here, but I have made this my space little by little and I'm still working on it. You guys want like a furnished apartment tour. I hear you loud and clear, but I'm still missing pieces. Like my couch is gonna take quite a while because it is a custom piece and my dining room table so instead you guys are gonna see my empty apartment tour today and then I'm gonna be updating you guys in vlogs so I already have a bunch of footage of when I first moved everything in because I wanted you guys to see the chaos just like the boxes and the moving process I moved like in the middle of the summer so it was wild it was hectic there was painting there was fixing organizing donating so you guys are gonna see all of that in the next video so today's video is just a really quick rundown of just the space so just to get an idea of what I walked into and then in a couple of months what it's gonna look like so you guys can see like how I made a small space work so this is a one bedroom apartment if you guys want me to do a separate Q&A just for like apartment things as far as like the process why I moved alone and like all of that if you have those questions ask them below so that I can do a separate video just for that and I'll do like a sit down just talk to you guys about it but yeah I'm super excited so without further ado let's go ahead and get into my empty New York City apartment tour so today I'm officially moving in. This is what you see when you first walk in. This is my living room space, which I'm actually going to be using for a beauty room. The previous owner actually left some belongings. So I already threw out like the trash that he had in the cupboards, like, you know, cleaning supplies and things like that. But I'm just waiting for the super to take these items out. So when you first walk in, there's this closet here and it's pretty deep. So what I really love about this apartment, I have to paint everything over, but what I love about this apartment is how deep the closets are and how tall they are. So up there is just some paint and some tiles and some like items left over just for the bathroom so whenever there's like a problem if there's like a leak or they have to like paint something or use one of the tile they're here I still have to organize everything I'm gonna add lights I'm gonna paint inside of here because clearly it's a closet so it doesn't look that pretty but that's the first closet so we have some lights up there we don't have an actual light in the living room we do have a window here but I am gonna be adding either like one of these style lights here just for like additional lighting because at night it does get pretty dark so the previous owner had like a sectional couch here he had his TV up on one of these shelves and like just items miscellaneous items there he had actually like a bunch of furniture in here so it looks quite small when there's no furniture but it's pretty big I don't know it looks bigger when it has items in there right now you could hear a terrible echo because it's empty but he did leave me his air conditioner at first I wanted to do redo the floors but because I'm only gonna stay here for a year I just decided not to I mean I'm just gonna maybe like fix them up maybe polish it but I really wanted to remove these shelves but because this is a co-op I was told that I couldn't remove these these are part of the wall now so I just gotta make it work so my vision is to have my beauty room here and then maybe just like a small section for when like a guest comes over I really don't have too many people coming over so I'm not too worried about that I'm also gonna put like large curtains up at the top so coming over here we have another closet this is closet number two and this one is like huge I do have a bunch of maletas a bunch of luggage so it's good that I have this closet space because your girl needs it but we just have like some storage here there and they're really tall so I do have to buy a ladder a step stool for myself so that's closet number two moving on to my kitchen this is the kitchen let me turn on the lights what I love is that it has a lot of counter space so I, I'm gonna put like a microwave but there's a stove dishwasher cupboard more cupboards and then this really cute small eating space that's my sink pretty standard that's the light that's that that's how I buzz people in. 
So here is the third closet, more space with some shelving units already inside. We're gonna paint, we're gonna clean. You know, I really have to give this a nice deep clean. I think I'm gonna even hire a cleaning person to come in and just deep clean this whole thing out. But I love this for like products. So the guy actually had like his jeans folded here, his clothing. He actually didn't even need a dresser because there's so many closets. And then right next to it is my bathroom. This is actually what I fell in love with in this apartment because it reminded me of a hotel that I stayed at in the city. So it has this really pretty white tile all around. I love this even for like products. So I don't really need to add anything there. Also for the shower. I tend to have a lot of products when I take a shower, like way too many out. This is going to help me not clutter and just have out what I need. That is the floor. I have like this really old school toilet. So this is the bathroom. Pretty tall like ceilings. Like I'm not used to seeing the rod up so high. Kind of cool. So I do have to get like extra long shower curtains and curtains in general so this is the bathroom really cute mirror the sink is kind of cool and unique and then right next to the bathroom is my bedroom so this is a one bedroom apartment and when you go in this is what you see let me put on the light I, i'm gonna change this just because it's yellow and i just don't want anything yellow in my apartment like yellow lighting but we have some windows there really good lighting i'm gonna put a huge white curtain here so in the bedroom there's two additional closets so that's a total of five closets i do have another window here the closets are pretty deep especially compared to my old apartment i only had like a mini closet and you couldn't even get into it so i'm gonna be adding like lighting inside here and some like organizational things, you know, like maybe shelves or like cubes. The guy that was living here before had a queen bed here and then he had like chairs and he had so much furniture. It doesn't look that big, but if you use the space wisely, you can definitely make it work. So that is my bedroom. And then last but not least is just another closet, which again is gonna get painted pretty deep which I need. So once everything is painted and organized and clean, I'll be showing you guys like progression pics and videos. Right now, my cousin is probably like 30 minutes away with all of my makeup. So we're just gonna be unloading all of the boxes. My best friend is here. We just took like seven luggages <laughs> with all of my clothes and stuff. So we have our work cut out for us, but I am so excited for this journey. I'm so proud of myself, especially because I did this all on my own, with my own credit, with my own name, just little old me. So this is my humble beginning. So I hope you guys are excited for this journey i'm gonna be doing a lot more home style vlogs and stuff like that so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys